All right. So the amount of time required for each of us 100 mice to navigate through a maze was recorded. The histogram below shows the distribution of times in seconds for the 100 mice. OK, so it looks approximately normal. So it's asking for which value will be the closest to the standard deviation of, 100, of the 100 times. So let's just like draw an outline of like a bell shape. And um, the standard deviation can be, the value of the standard deviation can be found by basically looking for the distance from the mean to the point of inflection. So like where it changes from concave up to concave down. If you took calculus, you'll know what that means exactly. But um, if you haven't, it's just essentially where the curvature changes. So where it changes from like going like, doing something like this, this is concave down, to doing something like this, this is concave up. So down to upward or up to down. Um, so usually when you don't have to worry too much about being exact because their tests are not, the tests are not gonna be designed so that it's gonna be like super, super like precise. So um, they just wanna make sure you get the rough idea. So, um, from so it's centered around 90, and then the distance um, from like from here to here to 80, it's about 100. So the standard deviation will be this length, which is about 10. So yeah, 10 will be the clear answer. 2.5 is way too small, and 20 would be way out. Yeah, 20 would be way too large. So it'd be definitely going to be B. Problem six. A graph not shown of the selling prices of homes in a certain city for the month of April reveals that the distribution is skewed to the left. Which of the following statements is the most reasonable conclusion about the selling prices based on the graph? Okay, so let's first draw a sketch of what a skewed left graph look, would be would look like. So I have a it would have a long tail from the left. It's maybe something like this. Um, so these are prices. So the mean is greater than the median. Which of these is the most reasonable? So remember um, one of the, the, the concepts in um, probably maybe chapter one or chapter two that you covered, where we're talking about how we describe distributions and um, effective measures of center. The, the median is the equal areas point. So maybe the median would be like over here, where the 50-50 point of the area. The, me the median is not affected by outliers. It would not be you know, pulled towards the tail. Whereas the mean, is, since it's based on algebra, would be more sensitive to outliers. So it'll get pulled more to the tail. So the median would actually be lower than the median, not greater. So it's not gonna be A. B, the median is the average of the first quartile and the third quartile. Um, it would not be this because it's, it's skewed. If it was symmetric or uniform, then that would be okay. It's because that's basically saying it's the middle. Um, or you could add the first quartile and the second quartile and divide by the amount of values. But anyways, it's not gonna be B because it's, it's not uniform or symmetric. Uh, C says there are fewer selling prices between the first and first quartile and the median than there are between the median and the third quartile. There are fewer. So the first quartile, maybe let's say over here. No, actually, be way 20, 25 percentile. Maybe over here. Third quartile, maybe over here. No, the Q1, and so you can see by looking at this, Q1 and Q, Q1 and the median would actually be more spread than the, than the median and Q3, because again, of the tail, because Q1 is more towards the tail. So it'd be the opposite. D, there are more selling prices that are less than the mean than selling prices that are greater than the mean. Selling prices that are less than there are, than selling prices that are greater, again, it would be the um, it would be the opposite. 
It wouldn't be that, it'd be the other way around. Um, e, the value of the maximum minus the third quartile. So let's say the max over here. So the third is less than the value of the first minus the minimum. So, so the minimum may be over here. So it's basically saying the difference from the max from here to here is less than the difference from Q1 to the minimum. And that would be true because again, the minimum Q1 are towards the tail. So it's gonna be more spread out. It's gonna be a larger range, a larger difference. And so E would be correct. Seven, a survey was conducted in which both men and women were asked a question about a current issue. Possible responses to this question were in favor of, not in favor of, or no opinion. The chi-square test is to be used to determine whether the response to this question is independent of gender. The number of degrees of freedom for a chi-square test in the situation is. So this would be a situation where we take the degrees of freedom to be equal to one less than the rows. So rows minus one multiplied by the one less than the columns. So the columns minus one. So um, if we have gender, you're gonna have female, male versus um, in favor of, not in favor of, or no opinion. So we can say in favor, not in favor, we'll say, or no opinion. So you see you have three columns then, one, two, three, and two rows. And so two rows minus one, you would have one, three columns minus one, one times two. So the degrees of freedom would be two. And so your answer will be D. If a probability distribution is symmetric, which is the following must be true. The distribution is normal. No, because it could be something like this. This is a really funky one, but this is a uniform distribution. This is not normal. The distribution is uniform. No, because opposite of that, because it could be, it could be, um, it could be um, like a bell shape. So not B. The distribution is bimodal. No, because again, it could be one of these. And then the D, the mean of the distribution is equal to the median of the distribution. Um, if it's, yeah, the mean and the median would be equal because it would be the equal, be the right in the middle when it's in either case, the mean and median are equal in symmetric distributions. That's one of the properties or characteristics of symmetric distributions. And so our answer is indeed D.